everyone, thank you for joining. Tonight I'm doing my first let's play of the GOAT Simulator. GOAT Simulator is an MMO where you're, instead of being a human or dwarf or elf or whatever, all, all of the normal kinds of uh, species, you're actually a GOAT. And the game has, well, it's been, it's just, it's been blown out of proportion. It's a it, 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 it was released on Steam the 1st of April last year, 2014. Okay, everyone, let's see. Hi, testing. I'm uh, live on Twitch again. And I haven't been for a long time, so... Today I'm going to try, uh, try out Goat Simulator from Coffee Stain Studios. It's actually a Swedish studio, so... That's pretty cool. I'm Swedish, so that you know, that's just an insurance that everything's gonna be just great. And uh, here we go. Let's see. Let's start up. Go to the here. I can select a map to play, and then just to be, to be clear, this is my first time trying this out. So I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. But uh, apparently we can choose a map, and the map will be either goat wheel. Do we get an info? Yeah, like a small, like small wheel, but it's a goat. Or we can choose goat city bay, the coast of jewel of Go goatasia, <laughs> or goat MMO simulator. And I'm not. I want to choose. I think let's go for goat wheel. Sprint, jump, run on walls. I'm a goat! Oh, this is so... Such... <laughs> Yay! Oh, I guess I... Well... So this is me? Am I dead, or...? Hey, get up, little goat! Oh, I have to... Sorry, I hope I don't make you see sick. Hello? Hello? Can I... Oops! <laughs> that actually wasn't my intention, but... Okay, let's go for this. Oh! <laughs> That's so mean. Okay, can I... <gasps> oh! Hey, what are you doing? 
good jump. Pretty. I mean, you know, not the dead goat's head. But the environment, the water is really pretty. So, other than that, today is the day when everyone was talking about a dress on the internet. It was really weird and really, I don't know how to put it, it was like one of the weirdest days on Twitter ever. Because since it was a dress, it wasn't just, you know, it was trending for everyone. Oh, goats in trees? Why? And how? I Ooh, red and black goat. Ah, it was something about that dress that made... Or, okay, let me correct that. There was a dress and the picture of this dress. In the picture, because it was like this, people were looking at the same picture, but still they saw different colors. So for me it was obvious, like this is a black and blue dress. And I, I, I couldn't believe it, because when someone said like, no, it's white and golden, I actually thought that that was some kind of, you know, they were just joking around or whatever. But... <laughs> Turned out that people have, I don't know, it has something to do with the centers in the eyes, I think, and the, the background light of the, the photo taken. So people actually, they just saw, focused on different, on different uh, areas in the picture and then the brain picked up either color. So it was pretty neat, but it was insane. Like everyone started Twitter about it. Uh, my, <laughs> you know, like famous people as well, like Backstreet Boys or I think Kim Kardashian. And it started, I guess, over in America sometime, like last night. Insane. And then yeah, and that was the other thing. And then the company who produced the dress. They actually proved that it was indeed black and blue. So then the next thing that happened was that the hashtag black and blue uh, race, what did it say? It said black and blue is the master race. And like, you know, so that you could say that. saw like the black and, and blue colors in the picture, they were the masterpiece. This is a really nice house. I wish I, you know, wasn't a goat. If I weren't a goat, I would have probably appreciate it more, but... Oh, sorry about that. Just a goat, guys. Don't, you know, be sad. an easter egg. You guys, I... Hi Spandip. I'm really good, how are you? I just found this easter egg because right now I'm an intern at Image and Form which is a Swedish... Um, it looks like this, like the logo. Image and Form. And they... I'm an intern over there right now. And they're making this... Um, they're making a new game called Steam World Heist, but their previous game was actually Steam World Dig. And this is, I'm sure of it, an Easter egg. Because like both of those studios, the Coffee Stain Studio that is making the Goat Simulator game is Swedish, as well as the studio I'm at right now, which is Image and Form, who made Steam World Dig. And this is such a flurry that, that's so cool. I'm gonna get closer to that TV. Just boom or 
kick or whatever. Diary? Oh my gosh, that's a lot of diaries really laying around. Ah, let me get to that TV, I wanna see it! score you what actually uh, the score you can see like like right uh, above my uh, logo it, um, before it said you know 30 40 thousand something and now it's just 300 what am I supposed to do something with the bike or well apparently I'm in a race and uh, here's something. Now it tells me. That why? This would be would have been useful. started like okay actually you know what I think this is it like this is it for me for today for reals I've been um, I started out in what was it called goat wheel like small wheel but for goats and uh, <laughs> and I've been crashing cars. I've been headbutting people and licking on a lot of stuff, like licking 
people on melons or oh wow that just got worse I've been you know visiting I guess I was inside the coffee studio house once and then right over here like in this in this area called was it Helvetet I found Steamworld Goat and that was pretty cool so I went up in the ferris wheel and went in the bouncy castle that was also something but uh, actually <laughs> this is it for now I'm gonna take a break so thank you so much for watching and you know please feel free if you like what you've seen um, just give me a like or a comment and be sure to follow my channel because that would mean a lot to me you can also find me on Twitter if you want to ask something whatever because I'm usually around so thank you so much for now <laughs> see you later Well and prosper. Rest in peace.